So how boot sequence looks like from perspective of the um, UFI specification designers. Um, so the boot process uh, is divided into components. First component is a boot manager and second component are FE binaries. So there are multiple various FE binaries and on this diagram, the time pass from left to right. And um, boot manager is uh, are those components of UFI which are responsible for loading, which are generating, which are responsible for loading, for doing some um, initial basic stuff. So in, in case of this diagram, we have a standard price form firmware initialization in the platform in the uh, circle, uh, which is like a basic um, initialization of the platform. It may use some proprietary stuff, but that's, that's not uh, part of the spec. Then there is um, EFI image loading in drivers and application um, loading phase. Um, and uh, then uh, there is EFI operating sy system loading when we're doing booting from some ordered list of the, um, of the supported OSs or loaders. And then there is a boot service uh, terminate um, so when, when, when we hand off control to some operating system or some bootloader, uh, depending who do exit boot services. And that's end of the uh, boot manager components. How those um, components interact, uh, each, each component when loading FE binaries uh, have specific uh, API. So there is specific uh, API for loading EFI drivers, EFI applications. Uh, there is specific um, uh, API for kicking the um, UFI application shell or bootloader or some boot code which initialize bootloader or operating system. And there's also some specific uh, failure path if, uh, if something go wrong. Uh, there is on, only one dotted arrow uh, when there is discussion about value added implementation. So, um, so this is about um, extending the capabilities through shared partition and uh, through use of uh, various components. Um, and in comparison to, to what was defined in UFI specification, that's the place when we load the um, final um, operating system, that's the place when any value added should be um, provided uh, according to UFI specification designers. So this is about um, our setup menu. This is about uh, some uh, additional things that can be executed at this point. So as we can see, um, there is this generic boot, boot manager related code, which handles basic initialization and loading of the of the components and the, those are these FE binaries and those FI, FE binaries typically um, are provided by uh, some, some vendors, someone who did do the implementation. And the boot manager part is provided by um, UFI spec and uh, reference implementation. Um, yeah, so the specification assumes that uh, all non-architectural components are uh, responsibility, res responsibility of the independent BIOS vendors or OEM. Um, so those non-architectural components are um, FE binaries and architectural components are is boot manager. Um, so there is no enforcement how to implement those uh, those non-architectural non -ar architectural components like EFI drivers, EFI applications, boot code or OS loader. It is up to the uh, IBV or OM how to do that. Um, so, so UFI spec only say about the interface for those. Um, so this API specification, which is in uh, bold arrow in this di diagram. From one perspective, this diagram is important uh, since it presents a mindset of UFI forum and people uh, behind uh, whole unified effort. 
but on the other side, in, it may be hard to grasp uh, by engineers who did not grow in that ecosystem and kind of have may have hard time to recognize the difference between boot manager and FE binaries.